Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna write a polynomial expression for the difference in area between a triangle whose base length is B and whose height is H and a circle with a radius of 2H. Okay, so here we're writing a polynomial expression for the difference. Okay, so let's write, let's figure out what our two shapes are here. So we have a, a triangle. Okay, so what you would probably do and a good start would be to draw out your triangle. Okay, so we have a triangle here. It doesn't matter what type of triangle. And that triangle has a height of H that it says here, a height of H, and it has a base length of B. So the distance from there to there is B. Okay, and it, then we have a circle with a radius of 2H. Okay, so if we have a circle, let's say we have circle like this and it has a radius so the distance from the center to a point on the outside edge of the circle is 2h. Now we don't know what h is. I mean, it could be anything. It could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's a variable which means that it changes for different values. So we don't really know what that is. It's a variable. And same with height h here. We don't know but we do know that the height and the radius here, well the radius is twice whatever the Height is. So if the height was 3, it would be 2h, so that would be 6. And so now what we want to do is create an expression that represents the difference between the two areas. Okay, so what's the area of our circle? So I'm going to say a of circle, and that's going to be equal to something here. Well, we should know, if you don't know, that's okay. You should somehow memorize this. The area of a circle is pi multiplied by the radius squared of anything. So you hopefully would have that on a formula sheet or you memorize that area is pi multiplied by the radius squared. Okay, so my area of my circle is equal to pi multiplied by r squared. And r is 2h, because r represents the radius, right? I can write radius here. And so it's 2h, and remember that that's squared. Now it's important to include brackets there. Make sure you include those parentheses around the 2h. Okay, so if I simplify that expression from what we know about exponents, the area of the circle is going to be pi multiplied by, remember this 2 goes to each term in the exponent there. So you have 4 multiplied by h squared, because 2 squared is 4 and h squared. So the area of the circle, if we simplify, is equal to 4 pi h squared. And I, I mixed up the order of the 4 and the pi, but that doesn't matter because if you're multiplying, they're the same no matter what. It could be pi times 4 or 4 times pi. 4 pi, it's all the same thing. Okay, now we move over to our circle, and, or sorry, our triangle. And we know the area of our triangle is equal to the base multiplied by the height divided by 2. Okay, and so we have B and H divided by 2, so the area of the triangle is BH divided by 2. And so now we're trying to come up with an expression for the difference, and remember difference means subtraction, between the area of the triangle and the area of the circle. So that's going to be, well, the area of the triangle minus the area of the circle. Okay, and so the area of the triangle is like we had up here, BH over two. So BH over two minus the area of the circle, which is four pi H squared. So minus four pi H squared. So your final answer would be this. This would be an expression or a polynomial expression for the difference between the area of the triangle and the area of the circle. Now, be careful when you are doing this that you recognize a few things. Now, number one, you have the constant in front, which is called the coefficient. And remember that this is a variable. So the coefficient here is 4 pi. And remember, pi is just a number. So it's 3.14. So it's like 4 times 3.14. But h is a variable. We don't know what that is. Pi, we do know what it is, so that's why it's a coefficient. It's not a variable. I know it's represented by this symbol here, pi, and so is this. This is represented by a letter, 
but this is the, the pi is a part of the coefficient it's not part of the variable because pi's value is known variables are unknown okay the next over here this one would have a coefficient equaling well this is a little bit trickier there's actually a one in front there and it's over the two so it's one half is the coefficient and then your variable well you have a b variable and an h variable and so that's a polynomial expression for the difference in the area of a triangle and the area of a circle.